Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be going through the basics of GIMP 2.10. To start off with, first you need to open up GIMP and I'm now going to toggle GIMP into full screen mode by simply going to view and then going down to full screen just to make things a little bit easier. Right, we now need to create a new blank canvas because at the moment we don't have anything on our screen that we can do graphics on. All you need to do is go to the top left hand corner of GIMP and click on file and you need to go to new. You can now choose from a template for example, here we have a A4 size canvas. We have, let's just go down a little more. We have 1920 by 1200. Or we have an Apple iPad size. And there's just lots of templates here, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and just select A4 for this tutorial. Once you have selected a template, we can now go ahead and press OK. And there we go. This is now our blank canvas which we can begin to add graphics to. On the left hand side here, we have all our tools, which we will need. We have our rectangle selection tool. Here we have our move tool, which we can use to move objects around on our canvas. We have our text tool and we have a smudge tool. There's lots of tools here. On the right hand side, we have our brushes, which at the moment I do have a star selected. So if I have my star selected and I select the brush tool, there we go, the paintbrush. And on the left hand side here, we have a few options. At the moment, I have the size on 475. You can adjust that by simply just moving the little bar here up and down. You can change the aspect ratio, the angle, the spacing, the hardness and the force. I'm actually going to turn the size all the way up just to make things a little bit easier. I'm now going to create a new layer. On the right hand side here, we have layers. It is very important that you create a new layer for different objects as it will make life a lot easier. Basically, what this means is if I place a star right now onto my background like that and I want to move my star because it is on the white background on the background layer. If I now move the star, it moves the entire background, as you can see. If we now go up to edit and go undo move and then edit and undo paintbrush. And if I now go back to my paintbrush on the left hand side and I create a new layer to do this, all you need to do is go to the right hand side here and just right click and then go to new layer. And just press OK. You can change the color tags and stuff like that, but we will go into that in another video as as you can see, there are a lot of options there. I will just quickly say though with the fill with transparency make sure you do have transparency selected otherwise you will end up having like a white background or something which we don't want. Once you're happy with that you can change the layer name as well if you want we could just go with star one there we go that will make life a lot easier. Once you're happy with that we can now go OK and as you can see I now have two layers. I have the star one layer selected which is fine. If I now paste or paintbrush my star onto that star one layer and if I now go to my move tool and if I change on the left hand side here to move the active layer which means the layer that I have currently got selected which is star one I can now move it wherever I want on the screen like that and as you can see it's not moving the white background and that is because I created another layer. With the text, if you want to create some text, text does actually create its own layer, which means you don't have to worry about creating a layer for text. 
I've just clicked on text on the left hand side here and clicked on the background. You can click anywhere you want. And if I just type in computer sluggish, and as you can see on the right hand side now, we have our background layer, we have our star one layer, and we have my text layer, which is computer sluggish. And I can go back to my move tool, and I can now move my text wherever I want, and as you can see, it's not affecting the other layers. And that, that is really important to get the layers right, as it does get quite annoying when you accidentally do, say, a star on your background layer, and then you end up moving everything around. And you don't want that, you just want it to move the star. And then that means you have to undo everything and redo it again. Right, to change the font, at the minute I have computer sluggish here. If we go to the right hand side here and right click on your text, you can go to edit text on canvas. Now we can actually change the font size by simply going to the left hand side here or you can do it on this window here. And we can just up the font if we want. Oh, you do need to make sure it's selected, sorry. So just double click on the text like I have there. And as you can see, it's now selected. If I just zoom in quickly, to zoom in, all you need to do is hold down control and then scroll in with the little wheel button on your mouse. You can scroll in and out whilst holding control. And as you can see, it zooms in and out. And then we can just let go of control and just scroll up with our wheel button. Right, if I now change the font size, as you can see, it's slowly increasing the size of our font. And that is because obviously I've got it selected at the moment. We can also change the text to whatever we want. If we go to the left hand side here and select the double A button, we can then select from loads of different fonts. There we go. There's Arial Heavy. You can also change the boldness. We can change it to italic. We can put an underline for it and a strike through. And it really is that simple. I really do like GIMP. I must admit it is a fantastic program, but it will take a little while to get used to all the tools and layers and everything that we have gone through on this video. I don't want to ram too much information in this video as I want you to get used to all the tools that GIMP has to offer. I will do other videos on how to use GIMP 2.10. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I am actually going to get a few videos published today, but I think that is probably it for this part one video. We have covered how to use text and layers at the minute, and also how to do brushes. So with brushes, obviously select your paintbrush on the left hand side, and on the right hand side here, or on the left where the star is, you can select what brush you would like to use. There are a lot of brushes there, and if you can't find a brush that you would like to use, and you want to use a custom one, I have done a video showing you how to actually install custom brushes, which is actually quite easy to do. As you can see then, I did just click on the text layer, and it won't actually put the brush out. But if I would select my star layer, and go like that, it does do the brush. But yeah, that is it for this tutorial. I hope this tutorial helped. If it did, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.